it was a record that I felt like there there was not a moment that I didn't want to listen to. Yeah. You could just say it was an album. You exactly. Just heard <laughs> the whole thing. thing. Back when people used to listen through entire All the way. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 a good one. Hey, we're Hanson, and if we were stranded alone together, together on a desert island, these are the five albums you know, that we would have to have with us. Um, first, it would have to be Pet Sounds. Mm. Um, the Beach Boys, legendarily known for their pop songs, but also for their incredible artistic capabilities led by Ryan Wilson. Um, I mean, just harmony. You know, God Only Knows has to stand as one of the greatest songs ever composed, let alone a pop song. Uh, incredible arrangements. I mean, so just top to bottom, that's one that you can, you know, that I have to have it. Would it have been nice if we were older? Uh, we would... Yeah, that's that's a killer album. One album that is just one of my favorite, and I think it is very formative, is August and Everything After by uh, The Counting Crows. Um, just a record that when we were starting off early in our career as band, hearing that record and the mm -hmm. construction of the lyrics, mm -hmm. you're like, you're like, okay, this is the way you tell great stories. It's not, it, it, it's just A to B to C to, all the way through the alphabet. And, and um, I absolutely love the feeling of that album and where it takes me back to in, in my life. And I will say too, all the way through the album, that's to, for me, that's what, what struck me about that album was that from top to bottom, it was a record that I felt like there, there was not a moment that I didn't want to listen to. Yeah. You could just say it was an album. You exactly. Just heard the whole <laughs> thing. Back when people used to listen through. Entire all the way, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a good one. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have to go with High Voltage by ACDC. I knew it. Uh, it is an all-time great rock record. It's one of, probably, for me, it's probably my favorite ACDC record. I know lots of people like Back in Black. I get it. It's a great record. But High Voltage is the one for me. Um, and especially if you're an aspiring guitar player, it is a fantastic album to just dive into and learn and play. And you'll, you'll not only get some like total curveballs, but you'll also get some easy, fun stuff to just start to rock out and enjoy. So I, I, that one's always on the top of my mind. Yeah, it's pretty much, oi, oi, oi. All the way. That's all you need to know. Well, if we're going through five, I mean, it would be impossible to not include Michael Jackson for me. I mean, it, it's hard to pick which one. Um, so as, as much as I go, well, you know, I want to say Off the Wall, I want to say Thriller, I would say Dangerous because it's it's embedded in, in my, you know, youth, you know, hearing that the production of that record, he was evolving towards, you know, what is now, you know, all the hip hop stuff, all the r and I mean, the modern production of pop. I mean, Michael Jackson with the, you know, the help of, you know, some like incredible Riley, production partners, it forged a sound that has now been replicated. Now you're gonna go it Paul falls Simon. to me. You're gonna say Paul And Simon I'm gonna go Paul Simon. And I'm gonna go Paul Simon, Graceland, not because there aren't many, many, many other great records. But when What's I think record? about the tapestry of everything that, that we're talking about, great rock records, great pop records, uh, you know, going back to the Beach Boys and the amazing vocals, what Paul Simon did with Graceland was he fused new sounds with old sounds and he reinvented himself in a way that I think you need to be reminded of that. You need to be reminded of that every day, especially when you're on a desert island he with these guys. Push. You got to be reminded, just reinvent yourself. Just reinvent yourself. Um, and so, Find my happy place. Find my happy place. Graceland. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think about, you know, Dimes on a Thrill Silver Shoes or, or particularly, you know, Graceland is such a great song. Yeah. All right. So those were the five albums that we would choose if we were stranded. And we hope, maybe, cross our fingers, that if you were stranded, that you would pick our new album, Red, Green, Blue, because it's really great. It's like three albums in one. Right. This is really a cheat album. Hey there. Thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.